The miracle on the Hudson is one of the most amazing stories in aviation history. A flight to Charlotte full of people safely landed on the Hudson River after a bird strike and everyone survived. Many who did say that it changed their lives. Our Mark Becker brings you two of their stories as the nation honors the 10th anniversary. I was back here, if you look, at the window where ten years later Beth McHugh can down. tell you exactly where she was sitting right that day. I too was sitting in the back of the plane. Jim uh, Whitaker I wasn't even supposed to be on that flight, flight but he'd gotten the last standby that. seat on what was supposed to be a routine flight back to Charlotte. But two minutes in it all changed. And we're taking off and I'm trying to read the newspaper and all of a sudden boom. What we didn't know until a few seconds later was that both of the engines had basically exploded at the same time. That's a bad feeling when all of that thrust mm -hmm. suddenly goes away and it's just silent as you're floating through the air. For the next three and a half minutes, Jim Whitaker, Beth McHugh and their fellow passengers found themselves drifting downward, helplessly suspended between life and death. I could hear people praying. I could hear people pulling out their cell phones and calling home. Did I think I was going to die? Absolutely. And at that point, I did feel a certain calm come over me, an acceptance of it will happen. But what happened was the miracle. Flight 1549 hit the Hudson River at 150 miles an hour, slowed, tilted to the left, and finally stopped. And the first moment when everything stops and the noise uh, ceases is, well, wow, we're all still here. How about that? When I stood up, I looked down at my seat to make sure that I actually was alive. Alive, but still not out of danger. I thought, oh my gosh, we survived a plane crash and we're going to drown now. We're back here in the water. We're going to drown before we can get out. There was a pause to get evacuation started. And then it was a hurried process to get everyone off the plane as fast as we could. It was the second miracle that all 155 on board made it out safely with only minor injuries. But they will all tell you that every day they've spent over the last 10 years with family and friends has been its own miracle. A sense of hope that good things can happen, good things do happen, miracles do happen. It's a story that should be retold over and over again, as long as people are willing to listen. Jim and Beth will both be at the Charlotte Convention Center tomorrow as the Carolinas Aviation Museum hosts a luncheon commemorating the 10th anniversary of the miracle on the Hudson. And yes, Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger will also be mm -hmm. there with many of the passengers and crew. And a movie made about that day too. Yeah, it was incredibly cold having been up there that day, um, the next day we went mm -hmm. up and it was 15 degrees and whistling off, the, the wind was whistling. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is everybody was incredibly eager to tell their stories. As you heard stories and they said if even one person had died, even one, they wouldn't have been feeling the same way at all. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing Truly story. Truly a miracle. Every day's a blessing. Absolutely. Thanks, Mark.